Ngorongoro. The old Uvai is known to be part of the Ngorongoro conservation area. And so in Ngorongoro conservation area, as is known worldwide, is uh, the only World Heritage Site in the country with the status of being mixed. It's both natural and cultural World Heritage Site in the country. Old Dubai is the premier field area uh, in Africa or on the planet then uh, for understanding the behavior of uh, our own genus, early Homo, from two to one million years ago. Here we're at site FLK North in bed one and dated to about 1.8 million years before the present. This is a site where Lewis and Mary Leakey did pioneering work approximately 50 years ago and uncovered a series of six archaeological levels, five of which they called living floors or occupation floors because they contain concentrations of old Awan stone tools and the fossilized bones of a variety of different uh, large mammals, mostly the bovids or the antelope family. Being an anthropology student, I've spent a lot of the past four years studying this site in particular, being Old Divai Gorge, so I really wanted to see it myself. Um, and to get the archaeology field experience is a very good thing. To come to a, an important site and do work with very popular professors was a great opportunity. And finally and truthfully, I mean, it, to come work in Old Divai Gorge looks good on a resume for when you go to another school. I was sitting in the tent last night wondering if I should just accept that I'm still pretty much just an archaeology student. Really? I said, no, I go around telling people that I like study cultural anthropology, but really I just prefer cultural anthropology. Like, I'm like you, I really would rather be a cultural anthropologist do ethnographers and stuff, but I enjoy doing this also. And to be able to, like, connect the two would be awesome. You know what I mean? Towards that wall. You can see how the tuff spreads. It looks like it's going towards the wall. He's going towards the wall because it's all clay. Archaeology is one of those studies that can actually bring all of humanity together. It's something that we all share in common. It's a shared past between all humans. It's the physical evidence that we are all related to one another and that a lot of the conflict and fighting in the world between these different ethnic groups is really complete bullshit because we're all from the same family. Go back in history. You're like right Yeah, everywhere you turn your head, you're looking back in time. Hema, Akunai, Hema, Thermo, Hema, Benamando, Hema, Doctor, Hema, Thermo, Hema, Benamando, Hema, Doctor, Hema, Thermo, Hema, Benamando, Hema, Doctor, eh.
Boom. Tent city, bitch. Boom. Tent, tent city, bitch. Boom. Tent city, bitch. Dude, let's dig a little hole and make a fucking fire. I wonder if we can. We should ask Masiba. Ask Masiba, like, if we can, like, scoot this away, put a rock circle, and just have, like, a small fire. Dude, that would be the most epic fucking, like, ugh. He's probably going to make fun of us and say we'll burn down our tents. He will say that. I'm going to I'm going to bet you 5000 shillings that he's going to say that we're going to burn down 5, our tents. 5000. I'll bet you a beer. A beer. Okay. What's going on? I'm not, I'm not off work. <laughs> yeah. He's going to beat yeah. you. Can you put that down? I'll ask you a question. No. You cannot. <laughs> it's on the left. So, can we have a small fire pit in between our tents? No. Why? Say why? Because you're going to burn those tents there. Damn it, dude. Damn it. <laughs> I bet you he's gonna say he's gonna burn the tents down. <laughs> I still wanna do it. I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> On behalf of the chairman, we are very happy. This committee, I tell you, is very strong on issues pertaining to the parliament of Tanzania. And when we go back, actually we will talk to the minister and deputy minister, the principal secretary, and in parliament as well. So that at the end of the day, the end of the tunnel, uh, these foot footprints would be um, recovered and the museum, modern museum, is going to be built uh, and this committee actually is going to stand for that. Uh, 1970, 879, when the major, probably, historical discovery occurred, when the like, tall footprints in which you see this area here, uh, in which actually sort of is preserved under these uh, massive volcanic borders and a lot of different sediments around it, made it into the scientific literature when Mary Ricky announced the very first evidence of upright posture and bipedalism in hominids. We're talking about 3.56 billion years ago. Before that, people were talking and speculating and talking about bipedalism may have actually occurred during the Pliocene, but there were no evidence. So still, as we talk, we talk about Adipithecus being upright, we talk about Aurorintigenensis being upright, Kenyanthropus platyops, Australopithecus afarensis, but this, the, the, the footprints of light talk, those are the first evidence which actually sort of gives us a snapshot on the positional behavior on our area star system. These? Oh, chewy. Not chewy. Chewy. Good job. Chewy. Yeah. Yeah, got the Serengeti. The Serengeti. Mm. Tuko Arani. There's a chewy. The chewy. Tuko Moja and Daisy Tata in the town. Five years ago. Yes. Yeah. In Serengeti. The Serengeti. Yeah. So to go out, man. Yeah, yeah, walking, walking. Pasoga. Yeah. Aka Muga to poop up. Yeah. And then, yeah, to the to the tree. articles and don't really know you know how much effort goes into the methods because in a journal article it's like what like at most a page and a half for methods and it's a lot of methods that are involved in excavation and also analysis so thinking about you know future endeavors to publish a paper is kind of kind of scaring me but also encouraging me to you know like try to be concise and you know, try to be a better scientist and anthropologist in general. Hush, did you give me this? This is a rock, man. I didn't give you that. Who did? What? Someone gave me this. This bag here. Oh, 
pretty it's got rocks in it. Dude, stabilize the tube. Look at the oxygen and see what the oxygen is. And there's a, there's a range of, of uh, oxygen 08, 8, 16, you know, delta 018, 16 ratio that is um, signifies that it came from meteoric rain, part of the groundwater system, and precipitated on the surface. The deposits that uh, were laid down at the time of the archaeological site represent the land surface at that time. So by interpreting the sediments in, say, a square kilometer around a site or a square half a kilometer, you can interpret uh, what the landscape was like and whether it was grassland, um, exposed soil, whether there were trees, scattered bushes, and, and things like that. Thank you. Here in Laitoli, this is something that brings all of humanity together. It is something that Tanzanians can be extremely proud of. The, some of the most amazing footprints in the entire world, right here, three and a half million years old, perfectly preserved in volcanic ash from a volcano that's still active, not very far away from here. <laughs> and, but it brings us all together because this is where humanity started. This is where we, all, we started evolving into the, the, the people that we are today. The students uh, here are aspiring paleoanthropologists and developing the professional skills to make a career of it. If this uh, hands-on fieldwork is accompanied with abstract lectures, lectures in the afternoon, or and more importantly, preparation, reading papers and, and books and things before they get here, then their experience is uh, maximized. And T7 is actually you can see it, it's very, very pale gray, almost like cement. If it was a bond, it would have cortical surfaces and all that. And this yeah, doesn't here's have. another piece of it. It got all these grooves and striations. I don't know if it's of that, but it's Basically, the same kind of thing. That's the outer More surface of, of the root. Uh, yeah, that's not going. And so yeah. it turns into it's carbonate. Like it's a, a wonderful opportunity for people who are trying to decide what they might want to do in, in their life five years, ten years down the road. This helps them make a decision about whether they would like to continue in, in, in this interest. I'm very much enjoying the field work. I'm enjoying the work that archaeology consists of, the atmosphere that it brings, the kind of people that it collects to. Um, so I'm, you know, I have a very, I'm gaining a, more of an interest in archaeology than I had, more than I had when studying the details of the science through books only. Um, archaeology really is one of those sciences that blooms through application. So when you actually complete the actions and take part in the surveys and the digging, you realize what you're doing. On top of that, I'm generally a very impatient person, um, definitely not one of my virtues, but this experience has taught me a level of patience that I didn't really have before. Um, care, care to detail, um, slow observation, slow movements, everything to ensure that any artifacts or bones that are left in there remain intact. And another you know, set of patience that comes into being to understand that through hours of work, you may or may not find anything, but in the end, it's a win-win situation and you learn regardless. To get the opportunity to work on this is something that I will never forget and it's something that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. And I hope to come back in many times to Tanzania in the future. I hope, and I, and I hope, I hope that many young Tanzanians will come to the United States and study with us. And so the United States and Tanzania can build a stronger relationship with one another because we are very good friends and I would like us to become better friends with all of us. Thank you, Thank you very much.